Hello there and welcome to another video. I'm Forlorn One and today I'm gonna show you how to get past Stratholm skates. But we will not be going through the normal memes that you might know. As you can see I am here in this random location. Um trying to show you some landmarks here. There is a big ziggurat that is overlooking Stratholm. There is a smaller one right there, and then one in front, and the giant mushroom is hopefully going to be enough of a landmark for you. Well, once you find a spot, just head back down right this way. And this is the place where we will be doing our first jump. Yes, there will be multiple jumps, and you do need to have some sort of slow fall or levitate available to you. Reef levitate is only for me. Cannot use it on anyone else, so you will require a mage friend or to be a priest or a mage yourself. Now, let's get to it. What you want to do is you want to run up right here into this little cliff edge. And you want to be able to run straight without falling down like this. Now you just stop and you do a strafe jump to the left, which is achieved by pressing strafe key and jump button in about the same frame I believe you want to have like about one frame sooner um, the strafe button you wanna start moving before you actually jump it is unfortunate because on, uh, on a mount you if you just press the strafe button you are using a mount special ability which is some sort of animation that is supposed to be bringing character to the mount and there we go if you do the jump, you just don't move, by the way, you do not want to move after you do the jump. You want to hold off of your Q button, that is the key binding that is given to you by Blizzard. If you've changed that, you will have to use a different key, and it's up to you. And now you just follow this path, but first thing, there is a way, version of this which you can do with no slow fall, and there is a version of this which you can do only with a slow fall. Now, here is the first thing you have to do, if you fuck this up, you can still recover by doing the no slow fall one. And actually you always kinda need a slow fall, because otherwise you're just gonna die. But I'm pretty sure you could probably do it with your ghost, do this jump all over again, and then run to your corpse, but I would not recommend that. So what you wanna do here is you wanna jump, immediately go into levitate, and you get up here. You cannot actually jump up here. Maybe you can, I don't know. I was trying it for quite a long time. I couldn't figure out a way to get up this little ledge here, which will save you. Now you want to go up here. Now, this is a part with a second jump, where, which we will have to do. What you want to do here is just go straight forward. Up until about as far, you can see, you try to get as far as possible. And you need to get some sort of angle. I did not figure out a way to get this angle consistently because there's not really much you can anchor your camera by. So you can just give it a try and eventually when you up you will get, you will just release your W key and you will get your strafe key holding down to the right. You can see I'm running straight to the right and I'm stuck in this position. I can rotate it a little bit so you want to rotate it a little bit to the right again and jump and it will bring you up to this little clip now you cannot actually go up here but you can already see the thing that we are coming from for these big planes these big planes are basically what we're gonna look at there's not really much else which you could do here but here comes another use of a levitate or slow fall where you want to get onto this cliff you can see this cliff is higher than the rest so the one which does not necessarily require slow fall is is the one where you get to this position down here and you will fall on the platform down there well but if we are already up here you can always get down there pretty easily so let's go there first you wanna jump and mash your levitate button I might have levitate too soon nah it's fine good you can see <clears throat> and now when I when, when we are here exploring is on I will definitely not explore it in that area. It is huge. Now, I will also not be going down to this port. Or maybe I will. 
well, don't know yet because there is one thing I want to show but if I show it I have to use hearthstone to get out of there and if I jump down there I cannot get up here again anymore so you can actually jump down to this part, this part I believe yeah I think you can uh, I don't recommend it it's little fall definitely wasting another light feather like yeah they're cheap but don't why use it when you don't have to there will be a ramp I will show you the ramp then you it is safe to go down there really far okay I just want to show you the ramp then it is safe to jump down there obviously if you want to discover it first because if you will be coming up this ledge again right you can like take it take a jump down there explore down downward part and then get up here again after we find that and are we gonna receive it okay it's right here wow it's actually much further than I expected so wow look at this beautiful there's this one point which is higher than it should be and that's why it's creating it oh my god there again wow just beautiful how the engine works look how beautifully it spreads the texture well anyway you can climb on this thing back up um, there you can go and actually get to the Zikras. you can go to Zulmashar right here Mashar, yeah. I actually pronounced it correctly I guess um, there's actually a little plane which would be uh, probably become would later become the starting area for Death Knights um, but what we actually want to sh go to is the interesting part now obviously yeah like you can get here without actually doing anything like this right this is like just I guess if you're like afraid you would die and stuff and you're a mage or priest you could do this but I mean I guess just straight running in there would be faster <laughs> anyway um, there is the one thing I want to show you I will probably not be showing the planes of this I mean after all I already showed you how to get there all you have to do now is just get there yourself and you can explore wherever only thing is I want to show you this thing it is pretty interesting I feel like not many players will know about this one because it's actually not accessible in the game usually in the usual means and of course you will need slow fall because otherwise the drop from this height will kill you so you just drop down here and you can see a little hut right here now uh, there's literally nothing I mean unless for some RPing purposes or I don't know some secret guild meetings or interesting dueling tournament or I don't know where one of them would like come out of the house I speak of duels a lot I never dueled interesting well there is a path and for some of you you might already know where this path leads and this is actually what I find very interesting that this actually like was kind of continuing but then they just decided not to so maybe there could have been some kind of quest or it was maybe just a little joke that they just added a little hunting there so it could be seen on a minimap maybe and you can see there are some fallen trees I cannot go any further there is an invisible wall right now and these fallen trees are on the road to Keltalas in right here as you can see this is the road well thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon goodbye